Hello everyone! Today's video is a tutorial on how to handle RAR files, particularly in the context of downloading and installing Sims 4 mods that come as RAR files. Now, in order to do this, you will need an additional program. The program that you will need in order to handle RAR files is called a File Archiver. I use 7-Zip. There are alternatives. You can Google 7-Zip alternative or file archiver to find different programs you can do this with, but I will be just showing you 7-Zip. To get this program, type 7-Zip into your search bar and find this 7-Zip.org link. It is the official place to download this. So just click on that link right there. And you'll see several options for downloads. If you are playing Sims 4 and you have a relatively new computer, you're going to want to probably get the 64-bit. Theoretically, it shouldn't matter much. Once you've hit the download button for the 64-bit version, if you are using Chrome, your download will go to the bottom left. If you're using Edge, it'll go to the top right. But as always, you can always find your downloads in your file explorer down here on the taskbar. And if you're not already on downloads, you'll want to look for that on the sidebar. And you'll see that today I downloaded 7-Zip application. So I'm going to double click on it to install it. And then hit install. And there you go, it's done you an example of how to use 7-Zip to handle RAR files. I'm going to use this example of downloading and installing a career mod that is comes in a RAR file. So once I go to download it, we'll go to the file explorer on the taskbar. If you're not already in your downloads, you'll want to go to the left hand side and find downloads. And typically, this is the part where we click on the file we just downloaded and then right click and usually there's an extract option. You'll see there's no extract option this time. You'll want to come down to where it says 7-Zip. And once you hover over it, you'll see this additional menu. And we're going to want to go down to this extract files dot dot dot. Once you click that, it's going to basically prompt you to tell it where you want those files sent. So we'll go ahead and hit the dot, dot, dot button here so we can browse and find our mods folder. So this is typically, this is pretty much the same setup as when you're in your file explorer. You're going to want to find your game files. Mine are under documents electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then mods. And this is the place where you can hit OK. It will drop the extracted files into your mod folder. So hit OK. And then OK again on this main menu. Once you've made it to this point, you have successfully used 7-Zip to handle RAR files. They are now sitting in your mods folder, ready to use like any other mod. And while we have finished the RAR portion of this tutorial, we have not finished the mod installation part of this tutorial. If you know what to do from here and you just needed help getting the files out of the RAR file format, then you're good to go. You probably know how to do this next part. If, however, you are not familiar with the mod installation process, I'm going to run through it really quickly. But if you need a more detailed tutorial, I do have those. Let's head to our mods folder now. So mine are under Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, and then you'll find the mods folder. The tricky part with using a file archiver is that since you're not like dragging and dropping or copying and pasting the files to the mods folder, you'll have to like remember the name and go through all your mods and find it. 
Uh, so this is the mod folder that I'm looking for. And what we're doing here to finalize the installation is just making sure that the package files and the script files are not buried in too many folders. Because if they are too many folders deep, your computer, you know, the game won't know where to find them. So we'll go in and ideally when we click on this, there should be package and script files in here. So we click in there and we see there is not in fact package and script files. There's another folder. So we'll click in there and you'll see that this is where the package and script files are. Now what I do is anything that is not a package or script file, I delete this text document is not the mod. You don't need it. It's terms of use. Ideally read that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and delete and then click and highlight all of the package and script files and copy them so that we can move them so that they're only one file deep and keep backing out of files until you get to the mods folder. And then once you're in the mods folder, again, you should click on that mod folder and see the script and package files there. So hit control V to paste the package and script files and delete this folder that you don't need. And now you're good to go. This mod will run. If you found the installation portion of this video too speedy, go ahead and click that video in the bottom left hand corner. It is a very thorough installation tutorial for Sims 4 mods. Um, thank you for being here. Can you like, subscribe, and if you really want to make my day, leave a comment. I love those.